Hey guys, so I am just here today to do exactly what it says in the title. I am doing a review slash demo slash first impressions on the Wet n Wild coverall foundation and powder. This is a rather new product. It has been out for just a while and I have heard some good things about this so I've been wanting to try it and I figured since it is a drugstore product that isn't as expensive as many foundations it would be a good one to show you guys so you guys can see how it works. Um, of course, it's not going to be the same on your skin as it is mine. My skin type is a combination skin type. I get really oily right in my T-zones, but I also get very dry, like right around my nose area and underneath my eyes. Except for lately, I really have been getting over the eye part, um, and I do get a couple of dry patches here and there. Uh, so, it will be... You know, if you have like my kind of skin type, this might work on your skin the same as mine. But like I said, everyone has different skin types. I'm just trying to show you guys and tell you guys what I think about this and how I believe it works. So I guess I will just get started. Um, I will get started with the foundation. And it is a cream foundation. And let me just read you what their... How do you say it? Guys, I don't even can't even think of the word. I'm just gonna read you what it says on the back. What they're saying that this does. It is a all-day wear, medium to full coverage, lightweight satin matte finish. So this would be good for people with oily skin, not so much for people with dry skin, just because it has a matte finish and the matte finish might make your dry skin accentuate more. Um Invisibrite Complex reduces the appearance of wrinkles and rejuvenates skin. So that is everything this is claiming. Claim, that's what the word was, guys. This is what everything that it says it's claiming that it's going to do. So I am just going to put this on. And the color that I am in is light. Alright guys, let's just get this started. So it is a lot more liquidy than I thought it was going to be and it's kind of like messy. If you guys can see that, like I just opened it and it just like kind of squirted out and it's, yeah. So far it's just kind of messy. And I guess I should get my mirror that I just dropped on the floor. Oh man guys, I am so klutzy this morning, I'm so sorry. But I am just going to start out with putting it on my face with my hands. However you guys want to put it on, that's really your choice. I just kind of want to get the feel of it first. I will probably go over with a brush before I am fully finished. So putting it on right away, it just feels really smooth actually, like, it is really, it feels really smooth on the skin. And I know it's not my uh, moisturizer, because I did moisturize before I started this process because I let my moisturizer sit in for at least 10 minutes before I put my foundation on. It's always best to let your moisturizer sit before you put your foundation on because then you'll get like your your foundation will just slide everywhere if you don't. So far it feels really nice and really lightweight on the skin, not finished, but yeah, so far it does really feel nice on the skin. It does kind of feel sticky, which I'm not really loving right now, but I'm sure once I finish um, working it into my skin 
and once I finish getting it all over my face it'll be different the finish will be hopefully not sticky sorry guys I don't mean to put the mirror in front of the camera So basically I did record, I thought I was recording this, but obviously I wasn't. So basically what I've done so far is I put this all on as you guys saw and I did go over this over with a stippling brush and just kind of went again just to see if I could get more coverage because the first one that I put on I didn't get as much coverage so but and then when I put it on again with the stippling brush I still didn't get that much coverage but I went over this I just did like spot ons with this and just put it on like a concealer and that covered up my acne scars and also the few blemishes that I have right now so it does I guess give me or er, medium to full coverage if you build it and it is very buildable and it has been sitting on my face just for a few minutes now and it's not so sticky as it was at first it does feel better now that it has kind of settled in um, and the finish is I like the finish actually it's a really nice finish it really does feel lightweight it doesn't feel like I have too much on my face right now so yeah, so I am going to open the powder now, and thankfully I got the powder in medium and not light. So since this is a shade, probably a shade too light for me, this powder will help set it into, for it being, um, matching, or for it to match with my skin tone. If I can't open it, because this is brand new, so... Okay guys, so my battery or my camera just died, so I'm going to do this next part on my phone just because I don't have time to really charge. I don't really have time to charge my camera right now because I do have an appointment in, let's see what time is it? It is 9.05 right now, so I do have an appointment at 9.20, so I need to leave fairly soon, so I'm just going to set the foundation that I have right now on with the powder that goes with the line and this is just what the powder looks like it kind of stinks that it doesn't have a mirror built into it just because the mirror is very convenient um, and it comes with a little sponge applicator like this to put it on but I am not going to use that I never use those I am going to use my brush that I normally use to put my foundation on so I am just gonna like I said set this foundation and I don't know if it got recorded in the last video or not because I'm not able to look at it but the cover that I am using is and I believe medium so I'm gonna go I'm gonna go to the doctor looking like a freak <laughs> with just foundation on because I do not have time to put anything else on so I will put the rest of my makeup on and you will see it when I check in later in the day to show you guys how well this foundation and powder are holding up throughout the day. So you guys can get kind of get a feel on it, you know, on how it works on its own. This is why I did not put any concealer any other kind of concealer on with it just because I kind of wanted to, do, to show you guys exactly how it's going to work and hold up on its own without any other products with it so there you go this is basically what it looks like right now that it's just on it's just the foundation and it's just the powder right now and I am not even looking in the mirror and it looks pretty good. I like the finish of it. The powder did give me a little bit more of color onto my face that I needed because the foundation that I had got was a shade too light, which is good that I got this powder just because then that foundation is not going to go to waste because I can just set it with this powder 
and it'll be fine. And the fill is really nice. It is really lightweight, like I said. Um, and it is a matte finish as it claims to be. So I will go throughout my day, put the rest of my makeup on, and let you guys know within a couple of hours I'll record and let you guys know how it's holding up. Talk to you guys later. Hey guys, so I am just here with an update. It is, let me check if I can find my phone. 248 as you guys can see and the makeup is doing really well so far. Um, I haven't had to really touch up. I don't see any oily spots or any shiny spots coming through. So, so far so good since 9 o'clock this morning till right now it is holding up. So I will let you guys know how it's holding up in the next couple of hours. See you guys. Hey guys, so I am just back with an update. Yes, I know my camera is shaky right now. I'm actually just holding it with my hand just because I didn't want to set up my whole tripod just to do this update. It is, let's see, it is 8.12 right now and um, so far the makeup is doing a pretty good job. And I know I'm sorry, I want to apologize now for my hair. I know it's crazy. I said in the, earlier in the day I was going to do it, but I was at the doctor's all day. I wasn't at the, if I wasn't at the doctor's, I was at the hospital getting x-rays and tests done, and I just had to get that all done today. So today was a pretty hectic day, so I never really had time to actually sit down and do my hair. And then by the time I finally was able to get home, I was just so tired and just so... I was just so drained and so like I sat and played with my son for a while and we ended up taking a nap because I was just so tired. I ended up taking about an hour nap and I guess that kind of goes to show you how well this makeup really is working just because there is no real shine coming through. There is maybe just a little bit right here but other than that there's no real shine coming through and I did just sleep in this taking a nap so it is it is holding up for me and I will do one more update it will probably be around I don't know probably 10 11 right before bedtime just so you can see the full day effect of this makeup and see how it holds up so yeah um, I guess that's it until about 10 or 11 and I'll see you guys then and I'll wrap up this video bye guys so I am just here for my final check-in with you guys about this foundation that I have on. So I am having a couple of shiny spots right here on my cheeks and on my nose and right above, righty, <laughs> right above my eyebrows. So basically just in my T-zone. But for it being on all day since basically about 8.30, um... It did a really great job of keeping me matte all day. I did not have to touch up or put a powder on all day for it to stay matte. It pretty much did that for me. And it is, let's see. It is 1035 right now. So it has done what it claims. It does keep me matte all day. So all in all, I am loving this product. Um, I would not recommend this product to somebody who has dry skin just because I did notice that I do have dry patches right here on the side of my nose and it did kind of cling on to those because I must have not moisturized enough before I put the foundation on. But I'm sure if you moisturized enough that you would still be able to use this. It's just I really do not recommend it for drier skin. If you have normal skin or even no or oily lead to combination skin or even just oily skin oily skin this would be perfect for you because it does really help with the oil control but like I said all in all I am in love with this product it is a great product a thumbs up as you can see I put my thumbs up and I was going to say thumbs up and I just didn't I know I'm a weirdo but uh yeah sorry I keep saying but oh <laughs> anyways 
I do recommend this product. I will be using this product a lot and I will try to link the price to it down below in the description box so that way you guys can see how much it is. I am pretty positive it's no more than like five bucks for the foundation and then the powder is separate but it's still way cheaper than some of the drugstore foundations that are out there. So that is it. I really hope that you guys liked this review. If you guys have any other reviews that you would like to see, other foundations that you would like to see, just leave them in the comment down below, or the comment box down below, and I will do those for you. And I promise I will work on the videos, and the videos will be better, and I will not have the mirror in front of the camera lens so that you can see the application. Then that is it. Uh, subscribe rate this video, leave video uh, responses, um, video ideas, anything in the comment box, show me some love. <laughs> but yeah, uh, there it goes with the butts again. <sighs> fail. Definite fail. <laughs> Anyways, hope you guys have a great night. I am going to get ready to go to bed and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.